animals. So cute. Always adorable out there in the forest, the jungle, the fields. Just chilling and playing fun games with one another, not matter what the species. Right? Eh, not exactly. In fact, it's totally the opposite. Animals are brutal and spend most of their time inflicting violence on one another that even the Middle Ages would think was a little too much. From the massive beasts of Africa to Australia's biggest rivals, here's 20 animals that hate each other. <sighs> Number 20. Elephant versus Crocodiles an amazing photo of an adult Nile crocodile, Crocodilus niloticus, eating the trunk of an adult female African bush elephant, Loxodonta africana, surfaced online in November 2010. The mother elephant is extending her trunk upwards, with the croc gripped on the end and still in the water, but the full sequence of events was captured on film as well. The elephant hauled the croc completely out of the water, at which time the croc finally let go. God sent crocodiles to punish elephants. I truly believe so. Despite the fact that the young elephant stumbled over the crocodile, all three animals were saved. In fact, both elephants were observed later that day at the same river, indicating that they were in good health. The photographer was Swiss visitor Martin Eiffeler, and the incident occurred in Zambia's South Luangwa National Park. It's worth noting that this isn't the first time a crocodile has been seen clutching an elephant's trunk. Johan Opperman captured an occurrence in Kruger National Park in October 2010, this time involving a newborn bush elephant. The elephant was part of a group that waded over a tiny river, with floating plants covering the entire surface. The crocodile seized the baby's trunk as you can see, the other elephants came to the infant's aid, and the crocodile let go of the baby and vanished. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Kangaroo vs. Dog a kangaroo attacked these pals after being startled by the man walking his dog, trapping the dog underwater and cutting the owner in the abdomen with its hind legs. Chris Rickard, a 49-year-old Australian, was in stable condition Monday following the attack, which stopped when he elbowed the kangaroo in the throat. On Sunday morning, he and his blue healer Rocky were strolling in Arthur's Creek northeast of Melbourne when they were attacked by a sleeping kangaroo. When the dog chased the kangaroo into a pond, the animal turned around and trapped the dog underwater. When Rickard attempted to free his dog, the kangaroo attacked him with its hind legs. tearing a deep gash in his abdomen and across his face. Rickard, 49, told the Herald Sun newspaper, I expected to take a hit or two dragging the dog out from under his grip, but I didn't expect him to actually attack me. At first, it was a shock because it was a kangaroo, about five feet tall, and they don't kill people. Kangaroos seldom attack humans, but if they feel threatened, they will fight. Kangaroos have been known to lead dogs into water and defend themselves there when they are chased. Rickard claimed he ended the attack by elbowing the kangaroo in the throat, and that Rocky was half drowned when he was rescued from the water. Number 18. Lions vs. Hyena Hyenas and lions are both apex predators that dwell in the same area and compete for the same food. This battle for resources has been found to foster a tense relationship. It is a typical behavior among animals, particularly among apex predators. When lions and hyenas come into contact, they react aggressively. There is no clear cause for this. Lions are super powerful, and it only takes two male lions to defeat a pack of 
20 hyenas, male lions have been observed harassing or killing hyenas on several occasions. Lions have also been observed leaving seriously injured hyenas to die rather than killing them. Brutal. During the day, striped hyenas are wary of humans, but at night, they can be more aggressive. Striped hyenas have preyed on people on rare instances. Only the spotted and striped hyenas have been known to become man-eaters among hyenas. Human hair has been discovered in fossilized hyena feces going back 195,000 to 257,000 years, indicating that hyenas preyed on people in the past. Hyenas are known to scavenge on human corpses. In Ethiopia, hyenas have been recorded feasting on the bodies of victims of a failed coup attempted in 1960. Hyenas who are accustomed to scavenge on human corpses are more likely to attack living humans. Assaults on people in southern Sudan surged during the Second Sudanese Civil War, when human corpses were sadly plentiful. Number 17 tigers and bear. Is it true that tigers eat bears? How are they able to dispatch such formidable foes? Yeah, Bengal tigers prey on sloth bears on occasion, while Amur tigers prey on Asiatic black bears on a regular basis, and brown bears on rare occasions. In fact, I've heard that bear makes up roughly 15% of the Amur tiger's diet in some environments. Some tigers are even claimed to learn to intimidate bear calls in order to attract bears to them. That's some serious predation. While this is undoubtedly deadly prey, keep in mind that Bengal tigers are larger on average than sloth bears, and Amur tigers are larger than Asiatic black bears. Tigers, on the other hand, are highly powerful creatures that frequently kill prey, such as gar, which is several times the size of a tiger. While Amur tigers do occasionally prey on brown bears, they generally avoid and brown bears do occasionally kill tigers. The tiger typically prevails, but not always. Keep in mind how tigers and cats in general hunt. They're ambush predators who sneak up on their victims and surprise them with a header spine blow and a bite to the neck. Cats are created for bursts of speed and power rather than endurance, and they excel at it. They're more likely to kill bears because the tiger is larger than the bear, or the bear doesn't realize what's going on on until it's too late. Number 16. Bees and Asian Great Hornets from May to November, Asian giant hornets hunt for protein-based diet. Beetles are their primary food, although they may also eat insects and spiders. In August, Asian giant hornet workers increase their bee hawking or searching for honeybees alone. Hornets can be spotted loitering around hive entrances during this phase, grabbing one bee at a time and taking it back to the hornet's nest. Later in the season, when the hornet's nest increases, they may prey on honeybees with group synchronized assaults within 0.6 kilometers of the hornet's nest. A group of Asian giant hornet workers rip away the guard bees' heads at the hive entrance and continue assaulting the remainder of the colony to feed on brood in these slaughter assaults. Beekeepers may see a mound of dead headless or dismembered worker honeybees at the hive entrance after this phase. According to reports from Japan, colony occupancy can can happen quickly during the slaughter attack phase. with colony occupation occurring on average two hours after the onslaught begins. Only a few honeybee colonies survive hornet attacks, which usually involve 8 to 20 hornets. Another apis species, Asian honeybees, have evolved with Asian giant hornets and have behavioral adaptations to protect their colonies from hornet massacre. When an Asian giant hornet enters the hive, Asian honeybees may encircle the hornet and form a ball around it. They kill the hornet by vibrating their wings, which warms the ball cluster, and the hornet inside it, raising the temperature at the cluster's core to around 120 degrees Fahrenheit, literally microwaving it to death. European honeybees are, on the other hand, helpless against slaughter attacks because they lack these protective measures. 
Number 15. Cheetah vs. Ostrich On a level surface, ostriches may reach speeds of up to 80 km per hour and sustain that pace for up to 2 km, making them seem impossible to hunt for any predator. You might call them the Animal Kingdom's long-distance runners. They are also the quickest two-legged creatures on the planet because of their speed. However, the cheetah is the only predator capable of outrunning them. They can run at speeds up to 120 kilometers an hour. Ostriches may be quicker than anything else on two legs, but will they be able to fend off a concerted onslaught by a coalition of the world's fastest animals? The answer is no in this circumstance. This female ostrich is a bit sluggish to respond to that threat. Threat, and she just doesn't have what it takes to outrun the ravenous cats. Females with their offspring, male coalitions, or solitary males, are the three primary social groupings of cheetahs. Males are more stationary and may instead create much smaller territories and places with abundant food and access to females. Whereas females live a nomadic existence, seeking for prey in broad home ranges. Cheetahs are most active active throughout the day. With peaks around dawn and dusk, the cheetah may be found in a number of settings, including the Serengeti savannas, the Sahara's dry mountain ranges, and Iran's steep desert terrain. Habitat loss, interaction with people, poaching, and a high sensitivity to illnesses are all threats to the cheetah. Number 14. Cobras and Mongooses Mongooses developed into two separate groupings in Africa, one of which, comprising meerkats, remained in the continent. The other took a trip across the world, first to Spain, then to South Asia, including India. The Indian gray mongoose is the largest of the two, measuring roughly three feet long and is known for being a cobra killer. Its strategy is straightforward, dart and feint at the snake at ninja speed, forcing it to strike repeatedly until it fags out. After that, eat its head. It hunts rats, mice, ground-nesting birds, lizards, even hares and insects, in addition to cobras, whereas its smaller relative hunts insects, fruits, and tubers. The mongoose is thought to be immune to cobra poison. However, this is not entirely accurate. It has some venom resistance, but it simply avoids getting bitten by using its ninja skills. It also stiffens up its fur, making it double its size and making the snake's attack more difficult to land. It's a brave hunter and attacker, charging headfirst at its prey and chewing its head off. No sneaky rear ambush here. Alternatively, it will follow its prey. When they're close enough, they'll pounce. Alternatively, it will track its victim to its burrow and dig it out, a task for which its massive front claws are ideal. If you put one loose in a hen house, it will wreak havoc, killing many more than it requires, and like a true reprobate, drinking up the blood. Number 13. Swan and Goose the swan's angry attitude, according to ornithologists, is typical of the species, the mute swan, while guarding a nest. Chris Perrins, Her Majesty's Swan Warden and a retired Oxford ornithologist, says it's presumably a male swan and it's presumably paired, and it's set up home for the spring. Mute swans are quite strong birds, and I've seen them change direction on a dime, especially during this time of year when the cygnet are hatching. This Canadian goose attempted to land, but was swiftly repelled. I've seen geese hovering above several times since then, but as soon as they spot the swan, they instantly change course. Don't mess with a swan. Swans are known for marrying for life and bonding even before sexual maturity. Trumpeter swans, for example, can live up to 24 years and only begin reproducing when they are 4 to 7 years old. Yet they create create monogamous pair bonds as early as 20 months, the nests of swans are fiercely guarded. They will attack anything, even humans, that they regard as a threat to their chicks. One individual was believed to have drowned as a result of the incident. Number 12. Eagle vs. Goat 
of the chamois, a mountain goat and relative of the antelope endemic to Europe, is hunted by golden eagles using an extraordinary hunting strategy. The goat is caught off guard when the big bird of prey attacks from overhead. The eagle will seize the goat with its strong talons and attempt to drag it down the mountain precipice, hoping to kill the animal by gravity. The golden eagle has always attracted humans, dating back to the dawn of recorded history. The golden eagle was revered by most early recorded societies. The eagle was a major Aztec symbol in the pre-Hispanic Mesoamerica. Huitzilopochtli, the tribal and sun god, had told his people that they should build their city, Tenochtitlan, when they saw the sun in the form of an eagle perched on a cactus whose fruit was red and shaped like a human heart. The scenario shown in a well-known sculpture, early documents, and the current Mexican flag had to have astronomical, geomantic, and mythical significance. Humans began to see golden eagles as a threat to their livelihoods until during the Industrial Revolution, when sport hunting became popular and commercial cattle farming became ubiquitous across the world. The rifle and manufactured poisons were also developed during this time period, making it easier for humans to kill the elusive and strong birds. Number 11. Camel Spider vs. Scorpion Camel spiders are cunning little animals. Although these desert arachnids appear to have ten legs, two of them are really pedipalps, which serve as sensors to assist them locate prey. They can run at speeds of up to ten miles per hour. Are scorpions eaten by camel spiders? They are capable of devouring whole rodents. So the answer is yes. Solifuges eat insects, arachnids, lizards, snakes, and rodents, among other things. Poison and hostile species, such as scorpions and centipedes, will be killed and eaten by the vicious camel spider. Scorpions eat insects and other invertebrates mostly, although certain species also pursue vertebrates. Pincers are used to restrain and kill prey, as well as to protect themselves from predators. The venomous sting serves as both an offensive and defensive weapon. The male and female grab each other's pincers and dance during courting, while he tries to transfer her onto his sperm package. All known species give live birth, and the mother takes care of the young while their exoskeletons solidify, carrying them on her back. The exoskeleton is made up of fluorescent compounds that shine when exposed to UV light. The great majority of species do not pose a substantial threat to people, and healthy individuals seldom require medical attention following a sting. Only around a quarter of a percent scent of species contain venom capable of killing humans, which happens regularly in the places of the globe where they reside, especially when medical help is difficult to get. Number 10. Python vs. Crocodile for all I know, if a python and a crocodile met a hundred times, the croc would win 99 times out of a hundred. The python, on the other hand, not only came out on top this time, but it also ate the crocodile whole. GG Wildlife Rescue, in Mount Isa, Queensland, Australia, captured the struggle between the olive python and the Australian freshwater crocodile on video and uploaded it on Facebook last month. Pythons are known for their voracious appetites. According to live science, the huge snakes have been discovered with the remains of everything in their guts, from larger deer and impalas to spiky porcupines. As seen in May in Western Australia, these snakes will gladly devour one another. Some python species will even attack and consume humans on rare instances. The crocodile, of course, wasn't just waiting for this to happen. The python is dangerous because it kills its prey by entangling them in its coils. When a reticulated python murdered and consumed an Indonesian farmer in 2017, USA Today stated that it just takes minutes for the reticulated python to kill a human and an hour to devour them. Number 9. Baboon and Cheetah 
Baboons belong to the genus Papio, which is one of the 23 Old World Monkey genera. The Hamadryas Baboon, Guinea Baboon, Olive Baboon, Yellow Baboon, Kinda Baboon, and Chakma Baboon are the six species of baboon. Each species is found in one of six African regions, with the Hamadryas Baboon also found on the Arabian Peninsula. Baboons are diurnal and terrestrial during the day, but at night they sleep on trees, cliffs, or rocks to avoid predators. They may be found in Africa's broad savannas and woods. They eat grasses, seeds, roots, leaves, bark, different fruits, insects, fish, shellfish, rodents, birds, vervet monkeys, and tiny antelopes among other things. Nile crocodiles, leopards, lions, and hyenas are their main predators. What about cheetahs, though? These are smaller cats and while an angry baboon may be a vegan, he will not be toyed with. Babi was a revered animal in Egyptian mythology because he was the deification of the Hamadryas baboon. It is also known as the sacred baboon since it was recognized as Thoth's companion, Baboon Woman, a 2009 documentary looks at the interaction between baboons and people in South Africa. Number 8. Killer Whales vs. Blue Whale Killer whales are very intelligent and capable predators of marine animals. Larger cetaceans, such as mink whales, gray whales, and on rare occasions, sperm whales and blue whales, are also targeted by groups. A gang of killer whales can be seen rushing across the sparkling blue water, chasing after a lone blue whale. Monterey Bay Whale Watch shared a video of the chase on their Facebook page on May 18th. Sea lions, squid, octopuses, marine turtles, sharks, rays, fish, and seabirds have all been reported to be attacked by killer whales, also known as orcas. They can weigh up to six tons and grow up to the length of a school bus, and they can even kill other whales. Orcas, on the other hand, don't usually go after adult blue whales, which, according to a recent National Geographic article about killer whales stalking and striking the blue whale, the planet's its largest species, can reach up to 100 feet long and weigh close to 200 tons, can reach up to 100 feet long and weigh close to 200 tons. According to the article, the blue whale was spotted porpoising away, swimming at full speed out of the water. In Monterey Bay, the group has only witnessed one prior contact between blue whales and orca whales. Number 7. Rooster and Dog would a rooster chase down a dog? You better believe it would. An angry rooster is the OG angry bird. Cockfighting is a tough chicken behavior to handle, especially when it includes loving companions. The roosters don't like to leave a good fight unfinished, and they'll return to it whenever they get the chance. Cockfights can happen at any time. I'm not always sure what sets the fighters off. It's as if a switch has been flicked. When a rooster is attempting to be conspicuous and create a cockfight, he may flail his wings and crow at the other rooster, or attempt to mate the hens. The challenged rooster will usually run straight for the challenger, and the fight will begin. In. Both birds immediately become a tangle of feathers, claws, and beaks, the most significant distinction between an ordinary cock battle to establish pecking order, and a fight to the death is the manner in which the roosters fight. The purpose of the fight should emerge about 15 to 20 minutes, which is difficult to determine early in the fight. In the first 5 to 10 minutes, if one rooster appears to be losing, the stronger rooster's actions should indicate whether or not these males will be able to live together in the long run. Number 6. Lions and Cape Buffalo the lion has long been regarded as king of the jungle. Being king, though, isn't always easy. Even the most formidable apex predators may be put under strain when the creatures they feed on turn the tables and refuse to go down without a struggle. As this video demonstrates, while lions frequently feed on African buffaloes, these creatures are powerful opponents in their own right. The African buffalo, often known as the Cape Buffalo, has two gigantic horns and is noted for its propensity to mercilessly gore opponents.
This distinctive horn is distinguished by its joined bases, which create a continuous bone shield known as a boss. This has the potential to be very hazardous. These animals are said to gore and kill more than 200 people each year, making them one of Africa's most dangerous species. When lions hunt buffalo, they usually rely on the strength of a herd, as a fully grown African buffalo might be too powerful for a single lion to handle. When wounded or endangered, buffaloes become extremely aggressive and show amazing bravery in the face of predators. These gigantic beasts weighing between 1,100 and 2,200 pounds and capable of speeds up to 35 miles per hour are sure to strike dread into the hearts of any lion that finds itself outnumbered. Number 5. Cats vs. Snakes what makes snakes afraid of cats? Snakes are fearful creatures with only one means of attack. Cats are apex predators that may attack in a number of ways. Snakes are understandably frightening because snakes' perception is mostly based on movement. An agile and constantly unpredictable adversary would be very perplexing. Because of their motions, cats are highly prone to attack snakes. The cat will get more ferocious and faster the unfortunate animal wriggles away. Snakes, on the other hand, are calmer and chiller creatures than cats, who are the polar opposite. Cats, on the other hand, are more likely to attack snakes, but this can turn out to be a very bad idea if the snake is venomous. Number 4. Elephants and Rhinos Elephants are substantially larger and heavier than any other mammal. A mature bull elephant stands 3.2 meters tall and weighs around 6 tons. With an average height of 1.8 meters and a weight of 2,300 kilograms, the male white rhino appears comparatively modest. Both creatures are capable of using sheer force, have amazing stamina, and are equally clever, which may explain why they rarely fight. The elephant the elephant would assault with its tusks and feet, but the rhino could have the upper hand. A rhino may reach speeds of up to 50 kilometers per hour. The rhino, with its incredible speed and agility, would be able to attack first with its razor-sharp, solid keratin horn. A direct shot to the elephant's underbelly would be difficult to recover from, especially if the rhino managed to pierce the elephant's underbelly. Poachers kill rhinos for their horns, which are bought and sold on the black market for high prices, contributing to the extinction of most extant rhinoceros species. The modern rhino horn industry is dominated by China and Vietnam, where it is purchased by rich people for use in traditional Chinese medicine, among other things. Rhino horns are formed of keratin, the same substance that makes up hair and fingernails, and there is no evidence that they they provide any health advantages. Number 3. Shark vs. Orca the great white shark and the killer whale, sometimes known as the orca, are both dangerous apex predators. According to a new research, the killer whale is the more fearsome of the two gigantic mammals. Researchers studying white sharks, lion seals, and orcas in California's southeast Farallon Island discovered that whenever orcas travel through the area, the great white sharks depart and don't return until the next season. The experts are back baffled as to why sharks flee when orcas come, it's possible that orcas are hunting white sharks as prey, or that killer whales are forcing their rivals out of the way so they can get closer to the island's elephant seals. While investigating white sharks off California's southeast Farallon Island, Salvador Jorgensen, a marine ecologist at the Monterey Bay Aquarium, and his colleagues first noticed this. They used a seal decoy made of carpet fabric 
trick to entice the sharks to their study boat, then implanted electronic tags in the sharks to trace their travels along the California coast. They observed something strange in 2009. 17 of their tagged white sharks had been feeding on elephant seals at SEFI on a regular basis for months. However, on November 2nd of that year, when orcas from two distinct pods arrived at SEFI for a brief visit, all 17 sharks vanished within eight hours. The most of them didn't return until the next season, which was many months later. In the years after that, Jorgensen and his colleagues saw the identical flight behavior in white sharks on three additional occasions. Number 2. Sperm Whales and Giant Squids Squid have great eyesight, a sensitive sense of smell, and the capacity to spray black ink jets that conceal their escape. However, toothed whales, such as the sperm whale, pursue them viciously and quickly, and these talents offer little protection. Squid eaten by sperm whales far outnumber squid harvested for human consumption on a global scale, said squid specialist Roger Hanlon of the Marine Biological Laboratory in Woods Hole, Massachusetts. It's a wonder how the whales managed to conquer such capable prey. The whales may have used strong ultra ultrasonic shrieks to knock their squid prey senseless before scooping them up, according to one theory suggested more than 20 years ago. Some whales, like bats and dolphins, use ultrasonic sounds to locate prey and navigate. While the theory is disputed among scientists, it has become part of whale legend, adding to the mystery surrounding the daily battles between leviathan and squids in the deep depths. Number 1. Honey Badger vs. Snake Honey badgers are often considered to be among the strongest animals on the planet. They seek out conflicts with powerful species, and they frequently emerge victorious, or at the very least bring them to a halt. However, certain species are more dangerous than others, and snakes are unquestionably among the deadliest. After all, snakes are responsible for the deaths of between 81,000 and 150,000 humans each year. When a honey badger is pitted against a snake, what happens? We'll show you how a honey badger versus snake fight goes down, and which species comes out on top. In almost every occasion, honey badgers will kill a snake in a struggle. They dwell in Africa, where they must contend with some of the world's deadliest snakes. Honey badgers routinely consume snakes and go out of their way to kill and devour them, rather than avoiding them. Honey badgers routinely consume snakes and go out of their way to kill and devour them, rather than avoiding them. Honey badgers have evolved to be venom resistant and hunt on snakes. Honey badgers have a lot of food to them themselves since so few other animals try to kill snakes. Although the honey badger may burrow into the earth to scavenge certain prey, it is more likely to come across snakes when exploring its area. The battle would be over in a flash. The snake would circle and snap at the honey badger before swooping in for an attack that would shatter the snake's head. Even if the snake is able to bite, the honey badger will most likely kill it before the venom takes effect. After that, the honey badger would lie down and wait for the venom to wear off before continuing to eat its meal. This has been proven in several cases involving the world's most dangerous snakes, including the king cobra. Which other animals do you think hate each other? Have you ever seen animals fighting? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!